folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. Hope things are going well in your world. This is Rockin' the Country. I'm doing a gift request. Panilla, it's kind of like spelled like Manila, but it's pronounced Panilla. Made a gift to the channel for me to do this song. Songs About Rain by Gary Allen. So, Panilla, first, thank you for this gift. And here's what you said. Uh, that Gary's wife committed suicide due to migraines, though this song isn't about that. And I wouldn't have even mentioned that, except I used to get migraines. And from about the age of six or seven, on up to age 33. And my ex-wife and I went skiing in France, and I started to get a migraine there. But one of the women that we were there with happened to be a chiropractor. And she did a, uh, a impromptu, I guess you call it an adjustment or something, on the bus back to Lyon. And... I started writhing, and she does this adjustment on the bus, and I have never had a migraine since. If you've never had a migraine, you cannot imagine what they feel like. It is, and I know some people get them for days on end. I understand wanting to off yourself if, if you get that, because I would get them for five or six hours at a clip, then I would pass out, literally. You might find me under my bed, in the bathroom, uh, under the covers, above the covers, light on, light off. You, you'd never know because you're just searching for relief and there is none un, for me until I passed out. I get it. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that part of it. So songs about rain. This is on Vivo. And of course, Vivo almost always gets blocked. So if it is, I'll re-edit it and re-upload it. It takes additional time, but I'll, I'll give it a whirl. And then if that's the case, I'll just re-upload it with audio only, but I'm watching the video. I think Garrett's from Texas, right? Well, this town has closed down way too early and there's nothing to do. Nice lead in for so a song. I'm driving around in circles and I'm thinking about you. Day I heard you got a new last name. Hey. Sure didn't know it was gonna hit me this way. And the radio just keeps on playing all these songs about rain. Now there's all kind of songs about babies and love that goes right. But for someone They sure know how to pick the models for these. Good lord. No reason nobody wants to play them tonight. Hey, I hope it's sunny wherever you that's sure not the picture tonight in my car And it sure ain't easing my pain All these songs like rainy night in Georgia And Kentucky rain yeah. Here comes that rainy day feeling again Blue eyes crying in the early morning rain They go on Hurt, man. You have reacted to all those songs you mentioned. Well, I thought I was over you, but I guess maybe I'm not. Cause when I let you go, looks like lonely is all that I got. Yes, I'll never know what could have been. Sure ain't helping this mood that I'm in. If they're gonna keep on playing these songs like Rain Night in Georgia and Kentucky Rain, here comes that rainy day feeling again with blue eyes. No 
to the same Oh how I wish I could blame all these songs about rain Not any at all. Yeah, yeah, I like these videos that just show what somebody's thinking and feeling. Because we all have mind pictures of what our exes look like in certain places and then she's getting married to somebody else that's the impetus of the song and now he's left wow i guess it really is over you know it's like there are different stages of overness and this is one where when the your ex but on the other hand if you go on and find somebody else and get married then she's the one who's left holding you know with those feelings or thoughts and you can't not have them. You're always going to be curious on some level about your ex. You know, if whether you're divorced or even if it's just a significant boyfriend, you know, after boyfriend, girlfriend dated for a year, you're going to be curious to know, you know, certain you were on life's path with that person. You can't not help but wonder. The, the nasty part, I guess, is if you hope bad things happen to him, and that ain't right to me. I mean, he, unless you got smoked and they were a real bad person, and then you're like, well, you'd be fine if something, if their lives didn't go well. You reap what you sow type of deal. But by and large, you're at least curious. And in this case, he's hurting. He didn't know he's going to hurt that way. And you don't know. That's one of the risks we have in any relationship we get into, even if it's a friend relationship. And one of the things about life in this world is that we're all going to die someday. It's sort of like the unwritten contract. And we don't think about it much, understandably so. But when you meet a new person and you make friends, and if you're friends for life, one of you is going to die first and one of you is going to be without the other one. It doesn't matter whatever the context. When you've been on part of life's path with somebody or whether you're, can, you're still on it with that person, we still have that. And that's part, a big part of what makes life hard. There's this compression of time that we get. And then it's like, what comes after this? Theologians and, and folks have their spiritually minded folks have their ideas about that too. But you still have to die to find out if it's right. In the meantime, something like this feels like a partial death because you're like, that relationship's over for sure. She's with another guy now in marriage. That's deep, deep commitment. So Penilla, all right. That's something. And, I, you know, it's interesting in a video like this, too, where they take all the instruments out into the woods, it looks like. That wasn't green screened. That's a Herculean effort to do that. And then he's on the boat. It's just him on his runabout. And no, he's not with anyone else. But he's thinking about her because the implication, too, is that he used to be on that boat with her. They probably had some fun. And now he's just picturing her out in the woods in that very very nice outfit she was wearing i don't know what you call it it wasn't a dress it was more like a slip dress or i don't know ladies you could speak to that but it was a very very pretty girl in this video all right i'm gonna rate that one the number that popped into my head was an 8.9 i like the instrumentation too it seemed to go along reasonably well with the song but i know what the dude is feeling and in this song is depicted so there you go Penilla, thank you for the gift my dear i hope you're doing well of course okay guys have a great day see you on another video keep rocking the country